this is this is part four of this series. If you haven't seen the other videos, you want to go back. You want to watch <clears throat> a video all about pencils, different drawing pencils, what they what they do. Then you want to want uh, watch the non examples. Then intro to shading. <clears throat> How to shade a band. We're talking about a strip of, of value from dark to light. Uh, and then now this video is on shading with all three of your pencils. That's 2B, that's what's in this, uh, 2H, and 6B right there. Okay, this is what you're going to need for today. <clears throat> So you want to make sure that all of your pencils are razor sharp, uh, and here we go. So I'm going I'm to zoom in here a little bit. Oh, you want to make sure that your paper is portrait, okay? It's not landscape. This is landscape. I know it's not on the screen, but you want it to be portrait. The reason why is review. You want to be able to start near the edge of the paper. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to work from the left and work towards the right. If you're left-handed, you're going to start over here and go this way towards the left. <clears throat> you don't want to go past the middle. I don't want you to fold your paper in half because we want the paper to lay flat. But I like to put just a little mark near the middle so that I know where I'm starting and where I need to end. <clears throat> it's quite easy, or makes it a lot easier to start shading and to, to make that transition from dark to light over a longer period we want you or a longer space we want you to be able to make that as quickly as possible helps you master this thing okay so as in previous videos we have <coughs> started with making a little oval here we go now I'm making sure that I'm not holding myself up with my hand I'm, stand, I'm actually standing right now but if uh, if you're sitting, it's no different. Just make sure you're not leaning on your paper. You want your hand to be able to slide freely. Here we go. <clears throat> Pressure's on. Here we go. Start with 2B. You're going to build that up as dark as the pencil is designed to go. I'm not worried about the edges. They, you know, if they're a little jagged, that's okay. I'm going to start to lessen the pressure. I'm going to start to slow down. You want to blend to the white of the paper as best you can. Okay, that's just to be. That gives you kind of a baseline of what we're comparing to today. So now, here, here I am, I just told you that we we're gonna use all three of your pencils, and then I didn't, I know. This is what everyone should have all over their paper. You know, come down here, skip about a band width, start again, and do that, and go all the way to the bottom of the paper, you're gonna have I don't know. Let's see if we can raise this up so you can see the whole paper just for a second. Uh, there's the whole paper. I'm going to have one there, have another one here, have another one here, there, there. Yeah, so about seven bands. <clears throat> and then you come back over here. And you'd start here and you'd say, here's another one, start there, another one, start here, and have seven more down this side. Your goal was to have two bands that are close together or next to each other that are that are as good as you can do. Okay. <clears throat> and once you've got that, let's lower this back down. <clears throat> Once
once you've got this, you want to be able to start using all three pencils. Now I'm going to show you how to do that right here. I'm going to start right here just like before with the 2B pencil and build that up. No different than the one just above it. But this time, because we've already developed the touch that we need to blend to white, I'm not going to worry about that so much with my 2B. Got a little dark there. It's okay. And I'm going to get about three quarters of the way across here. And I'm going to try and blend to white just maybe a little bit sooner. Just like that. Okay, so I've got 2B starting here and going to here. These are notes that you don't have to write in. I'm going to write them in for you, and you can refer back to this video if you get confused. <clears throat> don't You don't need to put these lines on your assignment. And come back here, and I can clean this up just a little bit. Making sure not to get my hand in any marks that I may have made, may not made here. If I do have marks here, then <clears throat> you want to get a clean sheet of paper and just lay it across this right here. So say I have another band right here. We'll put one in, or the start of one. Or maybe there's a start of another one right here. This is all marks that, that while I'm working over here, my hand might be touching over here. If you, I don't know if you've ever had this happen, but getting graphite all over the, the bottom of your hand that you're trying to draw with just transferring from this and it's moving it around the page and just like we talked about before where you know, it's mixing with the oils in your skin and it's making it very difficult to clean off all the way. So if you take a clean sheet of paper and you cover all that and it's going to make a huge difference in the cleanliness of your drawing. <clears throat> you know craftsmanship is a big deal and we want to stay in control in our drawing. <clears throat> so now I've switched to my 2H pencil and then I'm going to come in here where it's darker than my 2H. Now this may be the first time you've ever used the 2H, and that's okay. It's the same motion, okay? And you come in here and you're going to start to, to go, and it's going to add another layer, and it might make it just a hair darker. But this is a harder pencil, and it's getting down into the whites of the paper. You see how I'm gripping the pencil higher on the pencil, very, very lightly. And down here, it's as if I'm letting gravity push down on the pencil, and all I'm doing is moving it across. The paper's in the way. Blending that to white, and you can see much smoother this is than this. There's a lot there's a mark right there. You can go in and adjust it, of course. Blending that to white, really nice. Okay. So I've got 2H that's about here, starts here, and goes to the white of the paper. We'll call that 2H right there. It's like that. So now, now is the easy part. Using 2B, getting all the way across, we've got 2H, we've overlapped, and it's coming together. We've blended to white so much better than up here because of the 2H getting down to the texture of the paper. And now, <clears throat> I'm careful to not get my hand in any graphite. I'm gonna come over here, and if I need to reach a little bit, that's okay. But getting in here, and pushing that dark again with a sharp pencil. And you can see how much darker it goes. So nice. And you'll be able to feel the difference in the, in the hardness and softness of the lead. And it's, it's quite different. So now I'm blending, just like the same technique where I'm blending to white down here, I'm using this to blend to 
to be. And I'll leave that just like that. <clears throat> now, there's a little bit of a white spot that I hear, and I can blend if I need to. 2H is absolutely fantastic for blending. And I can actually make 6B darker by blending with 2H because I can get down into the surface of the paper. Again, this is a technique that I have been using for a number of years and given to students and they have in turn demonstrated that they have this ability and then they run off and get scholarships, which is super cool. So now you can see the difference between full range of value and just using your 2B. <clears throat> you see how underdeveloped this is now. So it's a progression. If we make this, finish this little note down here. So this is where 6B lives, is right here, and it comes down to about here. So you've got 2B that normally would possibly not change in here, but 6B blending to 2B, 2B going across here, and 2H blending to the white of the paper. 